Hello there, Jonathan Kidd, the Chelsea Fancast, my two-minute fan by of the Premier League game away at Bramall Lane versus Sheffield United. Now, despite all the talk of turning points versus United after the glorious 4-3 win, we expected this, didn't we? We knew we'd have the turning point of a fridge and we'd get stuck in a cul-de-sac, didn't we? Schooled on the 2-2 capitulation against Burnley and other false dawns like City and Spurs, we just knew we'd get it wrong against another team in the bottom three. I mean, not having Gusto available to play right back and having Disassi in his place, and we've seen him stink the place out playing there, meant he would never overlap or get into any position to attack or centre. I suppose that's why Potch played Madueke on the right, so there'd be someone to perform on the right wing, allowing Cole to be creative just behind. And to give Nonny credit, he does take players on and he scored a terrific goal. As Baddy Asher was dropped after being shite against United, Otiago returned, had a decent game, a goal, an unmarked volley from the middle of the area, and other than one mad moment giving the ball away, he was pretty good. But we did everything we'd been doing all season. We bossed them but couldn't score despite huge possession, and of course on one of their few attacks in the first half. They scored through an error. There's always a fucking error, isn't there? In this case, a near post shot that Petrovic contrived to let in. I'm sorry, it's just not good enough. Uh, Jackson having one of those games where he's both excellent and terrible at the same time, managed to miss an open goal, having run into the area after he actually set it up. He isn't good enough either, is he? And of course, after half-time, Sheffield, who've been standing off, press us, and we don't cope. Our tippy-tapping across the pack is fraught with danger, disuzzy as usual, an accident waiting to happen, and a lack of energy, scandalous. What happens to the mindset of these players after they had a lemon or orange or lucasade or cappuccino, whatever it is they have in the changing room? Luckily, the Blades couldn't keep it up, and that was when Nonny did his magic. Fine-backed goal. So, we dribbled on with Cole coming off early. It hadn't been at his best. It's all didn't know why he was taken off. Though he did provide the assist for Madweke, and none of the subs performed at any level to keep us in the game. Wiz didn't touch the ball. Connor, not a sub, but in fact, bizarrely played up front in the change round. Chukameka, no Palmer. And the final two, Badia Seal and Cassidy for Jackson and Cucarella, were a cock-up waiting to happen. You just knew Sheffield would throw the kitchen sink at us. So you bring on the only defender who doesn't jump to deal with the rampaging McBurn. Bernie, who they obviously aimed at, and he scored! Useless! Petrovic stays rooted to his line and they make it 2-2. It's the hope that somehow they'll have improved that kills you. I point my finger at the manager. I'll be back on the fancast tomorrow at 7.30 with Chidge and Guess who discuss his games. Make sure you watch us on Facebook and YouTube or download it from Acast. All good podcast providers. Come on, Ukraine. I thank you.